Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for my Pan That palette this year. Before I do that, I do want to just quickly talk about, I know things have been quiet here. In the last probably month, I was on two vacations. I went to the beach for a week and then I just got back from Vegas for like a week. So things have been kind of busy and I haven't really had time to like keep up with videos. But moving forward, I will be trying to catch up with what I've missed so far in the month of August. I think with the last video I posted is probably going to be my Nightmare on Painting Street that I did with Valerie. We filmed that well before I, we left for Vegas, but I just didn't get a chance to edit. So that's gonna go up pretty soon. And then I think I've got like, what's the date today? Four videos that haven't gone up yet in the month of August that I need to catch up on. So you will probably see like, my outfits multiple times because I will probably be filming like three ish videos every time I film just to kind of catch up. And I may have a couple of videos go up each day until I am fully caught up. Hopefully that makes sense. We do have the Ziggy here today. He missed me while I was gone. Anyway, let's get on to my Pan That Palette update. So I am panning the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. And this is a palette that I decided to pan with a couple of other ladies like Valerie, who's VMRT on Instagram. Uh, Kim is using it. Deb is using it a little bit here and there. And then Jen of our Project Beauty is also using it. I didn't say Kim's channel, it's Teacher Loves Beauty. I'm also panning a palette for the Better Together collaboration that Paula created. For that, I am panning my Viseart Midsummer palette. That particular collaboration, there's a lot of people who have joined in. I will link as many as I know down below in the description box. Hi. Milo missed me too. What's up? Look at Ziggy's face. And lastly, I have a baby pan that palette that I decided to work on this year, and that is the Wet n Wild Petalette palette. Don't look at it. There's a lot happening in that palette. I'm sorry, Milo, I got to get filming. Say hi to everybody. Yeah, yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy, you're a good boy. Okay, we're going to start with the Norvina palette. So again, here's the Norvina palette. I I probably should try to clean some of this up. It's starting to get really gross. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you a picture of what my palette looked like last month. And this is what my palette looks like now. I always feel like I need to pull in my lights a little bit closer because it this side gets really washed out. But anyway, here we go. So I have my picture here of what my palette looked like last month. Before I do that, I'm going to clean my palette. I'm going to be careful though, because my, I just painted my nails a little bit ago. They were a hot mess. All right, so I'm grabbing, actually at this time I'm grabbing my eye masks container and I am wrapping a makeup wipe around it. And then we're just going to do this. There we go. Nice and clean. All right. Except for what's in here because, you know, I'll clean that later. All right. So some of the big changes here, you can see I did hit side pan and dreamer. Uh, well, actually in this top corner. So I have side pan there. I did some frankening, which I will talk about in a little bit. I expanded the pan quite a bit in Celestial, and I do actually have side pan on that on this side. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I also expanded the pan in the shade Dazzling and Drama. I actually have about half of that one finished. And then if we go down here, this was a shade that I had frankened previously in my empty pan of base. And this was a pretty full pan, and you can see I'm almost finished with that. What I did with this is I took Eccentric, and I combined it with the Kevin Aquan Contour Powder, as well as the white shimmery shade that was in my Baby Pan That palette. 
So this is almost finished. I'm actually going to repress this after I'm done filming this because I'm having a really hard time getting like the edges, but I wanted to wait until I filmed before I did that. Then Soul, I used it a couple of times. I honestly didn't use Soul very much. I'm kind of leaning towards keeping that a bit more of a fall shade. And then we'll skip these two. Oh, actually, what was in here was Incense, and I finished the shade Incense. I had previously had Love Finished. I did expand the pan in Volatile quite a bit. I haven't touched Eccentric this month. And then I do have a good, uh, I did make a good dent in Passion as well. So I'm feeling pretty good about how this palette is looking right now. Let me kind of talk through what's what's going on in some of these empty pans. So this these two shades came from my Wet n Wild palette. So I took the matte purple and the matte lavender shade and I pressed them into this pan so I just had this one one palette I could take around with me versus taking around this as my third palette because I usually travel with these these two palettes together. And then I took half of Wild Child and I actually mixed it with this shade which is Summer and I pressed that into my Viseart palette so I'll share that with you in a little bit because we're not quite to the Viseart palette yet but that is why half of this pan is missing I, I think I used this I used it a little bit today I am wearing this and my Viseart palette today. So yeah, I did use both Celestial and Love in my eye look today. And these two shades, my the shades from the Wet n Wild palette. Okay, I think that is all I want to talk about with this palette. I will share with you really quickly the weights. So for the Norvina palette, last month, it weighed 186.4 grams. This month it weighs 184.3. So I did a good amount of damage, even with adding these two shades in here. You know, I did lose these two. So some of the weights of my palettes are a little off, but I actually did some totals for everything at the end that I'll share with you that kind of help paint a holistic picture of how I'm doing on these palettes. So I ended up going down 2.1 grams in my Norvina palette, which means I have a total of 7.2 grams used up in this guy. Apparently this weighs around 10 grams. Now we'll see because I feel like there's way more than what, 2.8 grams left in here? I'm fairly confident there is. So it's probably overweight, which is good that I'm a little bit ahead of schedule. I'm about 1.4 grams ahead of where I need to be right now in order to finish 10 grams worth of eyeshadow from this palette. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so that is the Norvina palette. He's like resting his chin on the pen. Moving on to the Viseart Midsummer palette, let me throw a picture of what this palette looked like last month. And this is what the palette looks like now. So you can definitely see some changes, especially with these three pans. They were empty before and now they're shadowing them. So I have used this shade quite a bit, this matte shade, you can't even tell, but I've definitely used it. And I have expanded the pan in the burgundy shade. And I haven't, honestly, I have not used these two shades down here very much. I did use this a little bit today, but I feel like that's going to be more of a fall shade. I may end up using some of these to franken with incense out of here. We'll see. But these three pans here. So this shade... These were all empty, as I mentioned, but this was a Franken I made earlier in the year with the white shade from the Mini Baby Panette palette and a highlighter. So I had pressed that into a separate like circle pan and it was in my magnetic palette, 
but I decided since I had these three empty pans, I would just press it here and I'll use it when I use it. If it doesn't get done, I don't care, to be honest. It is what it is. Uh, this is the, wait, this one down here is the Frank and I was talking about that has Wild Child and Summer mixed, these two. And then I'm trying to remember what I did with that pink, with this pink shade. I know I used Wild Child and maybe I mixed it with some more of that white from, I know what I did. I took Wild Child and I mixed it with the pink from my Wet n Wild palette. That's what I did. I was like, what did I do? And I take, I take this back. This is not what I did. I mixed Summer with this pink. That's what I did. I was like, what, what happened? So this is Wild Child with the pink from my Wet n Wild palette. And this is Summer with the pink from my Wet n Wild palette. That's what I did. So sorry, I lied earlier. I didn't know I was lying. Well, let me go ahead and clean this while I've, that looks much better. Anyway, that is what's happening with this one. I'm hoping I can get better progress on these three mats. I just haven't been using them, but I need to remember to use them because honestly, I'm getting to the point in this palette that there's, there's just, I'm feeling a bit push into a corner with the colors in here. So perhaps when I finish this shade, I'll do another Franken. I'm not sure with what. Maybe I'll take eccentric and mix it with maybe this shade or this shade to cool it. I'm thinking this shade to cool it down a little bit. We'll see. Anyway, moving on to weights. So as you can imagine, since I had three empty pans and then I added shadow to all three of those pans, the weight of this palette went up. Last month it was 44.4 grams and now it's 45.6. So it went up by, it went up by 1.2 grams. Not surprised. So far, you know, it's kind of hard to tell how much of the actual palette I've used, but I'm at a total of 2.9 grams down in this palette. So I'm behind track, but that's okay. I knew that would happen whenever I added shadow to this. Then my third palette is my Wet n Wild Petalette palette. This is my Baby Pan That palette. And as you can tell, everything in here except for this pink shade is scraped out. So I had used that white shade completely for the Franken in that base pan. And then I took both the purple and this lavender shade and I pressed it into my Norvina palette. And then I did use this pink quite a bit in a couple of different Frankens that you saw on the Viseart palette. So this is looking pretty good. Now, if I don't use all of that pink shimmer, I, I'm fine with that because the shades in here that I really liked were the matte shades. The other two were fine. I think using this as a as a mixer is excellent, ex especially for sh for summer because I think that really helps tone down the orange in the shade. And I'll I'll actually swatch these frankens for you. So that's what summer looks like. And then here is this really bad pink shade. It's kind of like a, a chalky pink. It's really not great. So let me swatch these. I didn't even, I didn't even think about doing that. Let me swatch these for you. Okay. So there was the like shimmery white shade that I used it's made as a Franken earlier. I don't think it's that great. Honestly, I'm not really enjoying it. So like I said, I may not use it or I may use it to mix with something else. And then here is that frosty pink shade that I mixed with Wild Child. I think that's so much better than this. So I'm actually enjoying that one. And then here is that beautiful shimmer I made by mixing these two together. I was really surprised by that. So that is what's going on in all of my palettes. Like I said, I will keep this pink shade to use as a Franken for 
summer or if I need to do anything else with this. The, the shimmers in this Nervina palette are a little bit difficult to use right now because I find them to be very fall based and I'm not feeling the fall vibe. So it's been a little challenging, but like if I'm like yesterday, I traveled home and this was easy just to throw on. I just, but I, I wouldn't have picked that look for, you know, like a normal out and about look if I was going out to see people. I just, I'm not feeling the fall vibe right now because it's hot as balls here. <laughs> and I'm thinking summer, hot, you know, bright, vibrant colors, etc. Anyway, I'm rambling. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my... Um, all right, moving on to the Viseart Midsummer palette. Viz <laughs> what? I know. Oh, he's curling up. I forgot to cover my grays. <laughs> Oops. Okay, bye.